Halloween BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain how jurisdiction works in divorce cases. So first, let's talk about what jurisdiction is. Uh, jurisdiction is basically the question of whether the case was filed in the appropriate state, such that the state courts have the right to make final determinations about the party's interests in the case. So uh, if I'm married in Illinois and I live in Illinois with my wife, I can't just file a divorce petition in Wisconsin courts just because I think their law will favor me. Illinois has jurisdiction over the case. Wisconsin doesn't. If multiple states have jurisdiction, which is possible, the party filing the case can file in either state and then either state can hear the case and make decisions about it unless the state in which the case is filed decides that it's not the most convenient state for the case to be heard based on where all the parties live. This is called forum nonconvenience. So the state can say uh, Illinois and Wisconsin both have jurisdiction. Everybody lives in Wisconsin, so Illinois is not going to take the case. It should be more appropriately filed in Wisconsin, even though Illinois technically has jurisdiction. So let's talk about when Illinois does have jurisdiction. Illinois can have jurisdiction over a case if either spouse has resided in Illinois for at least 90 days. Now you can file uh, your divorce in Illinois even before you've moved here if you intend to reside here, but the court can't uh, make any final orders in your case until 90 days have passed. Temporary, temporary orders can be made, but they won't actually have jurisdiction to hear the, hear the case until after the, that 90 day period has passed. So it's residing in Illinois for 90 days. What does residency mean? Uh, residency is the place where the, the party intends to make their abode. That's a term of art. So intent is the most important factor. Where do they intend to make their primary place of living? And courts evaluate this on a case-by-case -case basis based on the individual facts of the case. But they really look at that intent situation to determine whether you are a resident of Illinois or whether you're really a resident of a different state. Finally, let's talk about jurisdiction versus venue. This is something that's confusing to some people, but it's very simple. Jurisdiction is the matter of which state's court system can hear a case. Venue is which county court within the state the case should be filed in. So it, first, a state has to juris have jurisdiction before you even worry about venue. And then you have to figure out which is the appropriate county to file in. For Illinois divorce cases, it's a county where either party resides. So if you live in separate counties, either county will do, but you can't file the case uh, in a county that neither party resides in. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. Uh, if you found this helpful, please subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundClouds, and you'll be notified of our daily article and video posts. If you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666, the 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have offices all around Chicago land for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week, and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.